What if Honda created an engine that requires neither gasoline nor charging and could even be better than electric cars? While everyone is racing toward electric vehicles, Honda has chosen a different path. What they've created could revolutionize the automotive industry. The company's CEO claims the new CRV is so powerful it will destroy the electric vehicle market. You might think this sounds like a crazy story, but stay with us until the end, because this could be the future no one saw coming. Before Honda became globally known, there was just one man trying to figure out how to get around with very little money after World War II. That man was Suchiro Honda. He started by attaching a small engine to a bicycle. It wasn't exciting, but it worked. That's where it all began. From that first motorized bicycle, Honda grew extremely quickly. Then came motorcycles that not only worked, but dominated. When Honda motorcycles started winning races and setting new records, they showed the world that Japan could build machines just as powerful as those made in the West. Then came the cars. Honda didn't just make cars, they made engines that seemed alive. Easy, fast, reliable. Their cars didn't just carry passengers, they made driving more enjoyable. That name has stuck around. Today, Honda manufactures more engines than any other company in the world. If it has an engine, Honda probably makes it. They make engines for everything from bicycles to private jets to Formula One racing. Honda is a strong automotive brand. The company sells more than 4 million cars annually making it the seventh largest automaker in the world. It's not just about numbers, it's how Honda does it. Reliability and innovation, with optimal reliability and efficiency. Take the Accord, for example. It's one of the biggest automotive brands. Honda sold more than 161,000 Accords in just the first half of 2017. That's not a mistake. People buy Honda cars because they know they won't let them down, whether it's their first or their fifth. Honda's strength isn't just about making durable cars. You always have to look to the future. Honda has always been at the forefront of engine technology. From the revolutionary CVCC engine that met strict US emission standards in the 1970s to the VTEC system that allowed small engines to perform like big ones, the company has always been leading the way. They introduced one of the first hybrid cars to the U.S. market. They showed everyone that being environmentally friendly didn't have to be boring. And now, there's another innovation, but this time, it's not a hybrid. It's not even electric. It's something completely different. Since Honda has always believed engines could still be useful, they just needed to change. We now have a name for that change, hydrogen. Honda already excels at making engines so why venture into hydrogen? Why go against the global trend of electric vehicles? And how could a bold initiative from Honda's CEO shake up the electric car market? Pay close attention because the answer starts with one word, hydrogen. And it could be the game changer that no one saw coming. Once upon a time, electric cars were a crazy idea. No gasoline, no noise. Just plug them in and go. It seemed like science fiction a few years ago. Today, they're everywhere. Teslas zoom down highways with their large touchscreen dashboards and charging stations popping up next to coffee shops. The future was fast and electric. Governments strongly encouraged it. To get people to give up gasoline cars, they offered tax breaks, cash rebates, and other significant incentives. Many countries have banned gasoline and diesel engines over the next 15 years. Electric vehicles have seen tremendous growth thanks to climate change goals. Suddenly, going electric wasn't just trendy, it became the standard everyone was striving to reach. Plus, electric vehicles have come a long way. Batteries have improved. They charge faster. When the idea of a silent car stopped making people laugh, they lined up to buy one. Today, from Ford to Hyundai, Everyone is releasing electric cars like their new smartphones. Tesla paved the way, but not enough people are talking about this brilliant yet subtle change also has its downsides. Batteries wear out over time. 
They're very large, very heavy, and full of rare metals like cobalt and lithium. Extracting these is very harmful to the environment. What happens when a battery dies? Disposing of it is another problem. Plus, charging takes a long time, sometimes hours, if you're not near a fast charging station. Then there's range anxiety. Do I have enough charge to get home is a recurring question. True, the speed at which electric vehicles are improving doesn't please everyone. Long trips can be difficult, especially where charging networks are underdeveloped. Cost is another factor to consider. Electric vehicles remain expensive even with tax breaks. Even though the energy seems cheap, prices could rise if many people plug in at the same time. Electric vehicles seem to be the best solution, but they have some drawbacks. The situation becomes more complex as we dig deeper. It's not just about going electric. The goal is to find a truly clean, truly efficient solution that doesn't just shift the problem elsewhere. That's where Honda comes in. Instead of rushing to copy everyone else, Honda is exiting the electric vehicle highway and taking a different path. A path that avoids long charging times, avoids battery waste, and doesn't rely on rare metals from the other side of the world. It's not electric. It's not gasoline. It's somewhere in between, and it's powered by the lightest element in the universe. A fuel that once used turns into water. Honda believes this is the only thing that could accelerate the electric vehicle market because hydrogen existed even before we talked about it. Honda has been here before. What's the truth? It all started with a car that changed everything, then disappeared. Honda released a model in 2015 that seemed straight out of the future. It didn't run on gasoline. It didn't charge like a typical electric car either. Instead, it used hydrogen. The Honda Clarity fuel cell was the car's name, and it was first introduced to the world at the Tokyo Motor Show. It was the first Japanese hydrogen car available for sale, and not only did it look futuristic, but it also drove like it. The Clarity wasn't just an old car with a new system added on. Honda designed it from the ground up to work only with hydrogen. It featured fuel cell technology that moved hydrogen faster and produced more energy with less waste. The fuel cells were small, well-placed, and delivered more power than anything Honda had ever made before. The result was a clean, sustainable car. It could travel up to 580 kilometers on a single tank. At that time, this was more than most electric cars. It achieved an incredible efficiency of 130 kilometers per gallon and emitted only water vapor. Silent, easy, very impressive. It seemed like the Clarity had found a way to be a clean car, but the Clarity didn't achieve the success Honda had hoped for. Despite all these new features, the car wasn't the main problem. It was everything else. There weren't many hydrogen fueling stations. Unless you lived in California or a few cities in Japan, you were pretty much stuck. You couldn't feel secure in the car, and people don't buy cars that make them worry about range. Plus, the technology made things difficult to understand. Hydrogen seems scientific, even dangerous. Plug in an electric vehicle, let it charge, and off you go. Everyone was talking about electric cars. Celebrities liked them. They looked cool, and the government supported them more and more. Many charging stations were built quickly, and incentives were everywhere. Fuel cell cars, not so lucky. Governments had different methods for promoting hydrogen. Tax breaks were fewer, less visible, less advertising, and fewer places to try it. Even though the Clarity was a technical marvel, it wasn't a commercial success. Honda stopped production of the Clarity fuel cell and its rechargeable and battery cousins in 2021. But the story didn't end there. Honda gained much more than just sales from this attempt. They also gained expertise. One thing was clear with the Clarity. Hydrogen fuel cell cars work. It wasn't the science that was at fault. The world just wasn't ready yet. Honda then did what all smart companies do. They waited and observed. They let the electric vehicle wave go where it wanted while they got to work.